Hey guys, today I am going to be doing my what's in my bag video. I did one of these, I want to say like approximately a year ago, probably more like a year and a half ago, um, with my old bag. This, I'm, I, I don't really know what to say. I am now in year 13, I'm in my final year of school, technically I'm in sick form slash college, so, but I'm in sick form. Some people call it college, it, it depends. Um, in the UK, I'm in sick form and um, I'm 18, so you can figure out what year I'd be in your school if you're not from UK. And um, yeah, this is my bag. It's from Accessorize. It's a really, I was talking to my friends today about what colour it is. It's kind of teal. It's like a faux leather kind of thing. It's not like a shiny leather. It's like a kind of uh, matte kind of grainy leather. It's quite durable, I would say, um, except these straps right there. So it's from Accessorize, I've said that. It's like 45 pounds, I think. And um, it's got this like gold hardware zips. It's very kind of, it's like slouchy. I don't think it's the most attractive bag, but I really wanted a rucksack because I normally go for like those little handbags like um, I had in my last video and I just kind of got fed up with them and I just wanted a rucksack. So I went for that. So I don't like my hair today. I swear every video, I don't like my hair. I don't like my hair basically. I don't really know what to do with it ever. I feel like it just sits weird. It's very flat and I don't know. If you have any hair tips, let me know. So um, yeah, it's a very slouchy bag. It's kind of waterproof-ish. I haven't like really been in torrential rain or anything to test it. Um, it's got a handle on top. Um, the straps on the back are terrible. They're really annoying. They're not very strong at all. They're made of the same material. And they've got like a little bit there, which I've never changed or altered. But this one in particular, you know, like when you grab a rucksack, you tend to like pick it up with one hand and like throw it on your shoulder, or at least I do anyway. This strap is completely broken and it's like on its very last legs. Um, this one not so bad, I guess because this was the strap I always used to grab. But I don't know, that one's really broken. Kind of wish I like took it back when I first got it so I could be like, yeah, it's broken really quickly. But now it's been like, I got it at the start of the year, so in September. But yes, anyway, so front pocket, there is front the bag, there's two pockets. There's a little one here, which I didn't think was going to be an actual real pocket at first. I thought it was like a fake pocket. So I was quite pleased about that. And then you've got the main, like, normal pocket like you would on a rucksack. So um, I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. I don't really know what's in here. I have just got back from school and I didn't want to do this at the start of the year when well, everyone else was doing theirs because I didn't feel like it was very realistic. So I've waited until I've gotten to the point in the year where I haven't looked in here for quite a while and I feel like there's going to be a load of stuff in there that I really don't want to see in there. <laughs> so we're doing it now. So I'm going to start in... I'm just going to start in this one on the top. So to fill it up. So first of all... Nice and sensible. I have a Pritt stick or a Pritt glue stick thing. It's just a bit boring. Um, then I have my colouring pencils. I am a little bit obsessed with colouring things in, especially in my kind of geology books. Um, not so much in my maths book, it's not as much colouring. But these are the big tricolour pencils and I'm just holding them together with a hairband. I've actually lost one of these, which is really annoying. I think it was like a light blue or something. I've then got some Staples sticky note things. Bit boring but they're kind of useful if you just want to jot something down. Headphones! I have my Samsung headphones. They go with my Galaxy S S6 which I suppose would be in my bag as well so that's that. This is what it looks like. I've got this really cool case which I got from Etsy and I might link it down below. It was from the Etsy seller Play On Patterns and really love that. I thought it looked really cool. And it's like a really tough design as well so that would probably be in there. Um, I've got loads of highlighters. There's these ones, which are the Stabilo Boss ones. I've got those, four of those. And I've also got another load of highlighters, because why not? I've got these Sharpie ones, which I've actually bought two sets of, so, because, like, the first set were running out, so I bought a new set. These are the, like, fine Sharpie ones, which I find are really good for highlighting textbooks, because text in textbooks is normally kind of small, so these are, like, much finer tips than the other ones, so you can do some more precise highlighting and they're really good for highlighting things on revision cards as well. So there's that and then finally in this pocket I have this little sharpener from Mapped. It's just a little cute sharpener. Now for this second front pocket um, I have some Boots Ultra Balm pocket tissues. I have a Bath and Body Works, Bath and Body Works, I can't say that, Island Margarita pocket antibacterial thing, which I love, and there's only a little bit left, so I might have to buy another one of those on eBay or something, because it still smells so good. Then I have some Mini Real Techniques brushes, kind of cute, I really only have them for the powder one, um, but 
sometimes like the odd occasion I'll find a use for the other two, but not. I don't. I don't feel that they're like as useful because they're really small, you know. Then I. These are actually. These aren't actually normally in here, but I threw them in the other day, and they're the NYX matte blotting papers. Um, I lost these a while ago, and then found them, and I was like, I'm gonna put them in my school bag. There isn't a lot of makeup in here because I don't really wear, no, I do wear makeup to school, but I'm not really very good at touching up. So I don't ever really tend to have any makeup with me to touch up. So, you know, kind of my bad. Um, next, I have some Boots Irritated Eye Drops. I get really, really itchy eyes, irritated dry eyes. So I always have to make sure I've got some eye drops on me. And these ones are just really, really cheap. And it says discard 30 days after opening. So I should probably get some new ones, but they weren't expensive or anything. So I'm not really that bothered. Um, wet wipes, these are just Cushions Carex Complete ones. I switch between those and like Tesco own brand ones, I don't think they're anything amazing. Um, another Bath and Body Works, Fresh Brazil Citrus Body Lotion. This is like a little mini one and I just thought it was kind of cute and I didn't really know what to use. I found another one that I bought in America back in, like literally this time last year I went and um, I just thought I'd stick it in my school bag. It, I use it as a hand cream, I'm not sure it's the best hand cream, but um, yeah, kind of handy to have. Um, random strap thing. I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Powder if I do want to touch up, which I never do because I always forget I have it in there. Oh, this is really cool. This is the Pawpaw Tinted, like, it's kind of like a balm thing. It's, it reminds me of like some Vaseline or something that's tinted. Um, you can use it as like a blush. It's for lips, cheek and cosmetic finishes. And um, it's just like a little teeny tiny one. I got this in my Love Me Beauty box a couple months ago. And I find this really, really good to just have in my bag in case I feel like I look dead or something and I can just put this on my lips. I don't tend to use it on my cheeks because I don't really like it on my cheeks. I don't wear a lot of blush. Um, but yeah, I've got that anyway. Oh god, there's loads of lipsticks in here. I had no idea these were in there. Uh, next I have the Freedom Lipstick in the shade Red 107 Make Me Crazy. Like that. It's not really red, it's kind of more of a coral shade. I wore that a couple of days ago. Then I have a mini Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in shade 6 or 9. I think it's in the shade 6. Yeah. Now I have a little mini hair grip thing that's just from Primark. Oh, Ulbasoil Inhaler Nasal Stick. These are so good if you get ill. I've had this in for like the whole of winter because every time I get a cold, I just like go like this. And inhale it and it just unblocks your nose and it's great really recommend this i probably should get rid of this because i don't have a cold at the moment and it's probably really nasty and full of bacteria so the only thing left is a packet of soft mints that has one in it still which kind of manky and a squash a qu squashed squashed finger of fudge is it just me or am i out of focus i don't feel like i'm in focus anyway we're just gonna go on because I've just been sat here fiddling with that for a while. So in the main pocket of the bag, you just open it up and it's just one big pocket. There is like a random, oh god I should have thought this through more. There is like a random little um, pouch in the front here but it's kind of too shallow. You can't really see, there's like a little pouch. It's too shallow to put anything in so I can't really use that. And then there's like a zippy pocket for your lady items which is what I use for that which is what I use that pocket for. So first things first, water bottle, it's a bit boring. Um, then I have my personal planner. I absolutely love this. I use this all the time and it's just got, um, you basically, you pick it, it's from personal, personalplanners.com and you can completely personalize your diary. So mine is a uh, blue and white stripey with 2015-2016 written on it and it's got this red stretchy bit there is also um i've got a clear section here with my school timetable on it um there's you know there's loads of ways you can personalize it on the inside you can personalize everything i'm trying to find a blank one that i can show you without showing you anything that i've written down that's my details so yeah i've gone for this design if you want more information on the personal planner stuff i can do a review um you know, I love this, I use this all the time, it's great for planning, you know, if you've got school and work things and YouTube things, it's just, you know, it's a really, really good planner to fit all of your planning needs in. So next up, oh, nearly choked, oh, why is this wet? Not a good sign when you find wet things in your bag. Please say my water bottle has not leaked again. I think we're good, I think it was just a dribble. 
So next thing I have this Casio calculator, which I talked about in my last one of these. Um, it is the FX99ES Plus. It is the best calculator if you are doing GCSE or A-level maths. Um, obviously, I, I mean, you don't need it for GCSE, but if you're thinking about doing A-level maths, definitely get it for your GCSEs because it does all your quadratic equations on here and um, I just couldn't do the maths I do at A-level without this calculator. You would be making your life much, much harder. Or if you do physics or most sciences, it's just useful to have this calculator. Um, it's amazing. I literally love it. Next up, I have my pencil case. Very exciting. This is from Paper Chase. Tilly, you can't come in. Let her in, actually. I want to put her on the camera. You come here! Come here! You haven't <laughs> featured in my video for a while. Come here! Come, come, come! Come, come, come! You start. Come here! Tilly wanted to be on camera. Hello. You say hello. You haven't made an appearance in one of my main channel videos in years. Yeah. What do you think about my school bag? Do you think it's good? No. You want to go down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You go. You, you go. Come on, mummy. Right, bye bye. Mummy's in the toilet. Come on. But yeah, my pencil case. This is my pencil case. It's from Paper Chase. It's just like this weird. I didn't really know what it was when I bought it, I just needed a pencil case and it's like O's or something, I'm not really sure. Um, it's got, I've got like a little, um, what are these even called? Like things you put on paper to keep it together on there just to make it easier to open. And so when you open it up, it's split like this into three sections. Um, one section I have all of my fine liners in. I'm slightly obsessed with colouring pens, I will admit. Um, these are the Beryl fine liner ones and I also have a little Helix Oxford rubber in there. Um, in the middle section with the zip I have these sticky note things from, I think they're from Post-it Note, that's the brand, and they just say to do, study and on test and I just stick them in textbooks and things if I know that something hasn't come up in the past few years I'll stick the on test, on test next to it or if I know I need to do some work or something you know I'll stick to do next to it or whatever. I also have a really broken what is this? It's like a triangular ruler thing from Helix and a compass from Stadler, Stadler, whatever it's called, like that. And uh, just a little handy pair of scissors, which I've had forever. Now, uh, on the other section, this is kind of like my main pens, and I have a foldy halfy ruler again from Helix Oxford. It did have my name on it, which I have managed to rub off already. And then I have a purple sharpie, which is not mine, it's my sister's. So Hannah, if you're watching this, come and ask me for your sharpie back. Because then that way I'll know if you watch my videos or not. Then I have a lot of biros. So I use the, just the plain blue medium Bic biros. And I have one, two, three, four of those. Then I also use um, these, what are they called? These are like the crystal really cute, pretty pastel coloured ones, which are like the same thing, the thick biros as well. And then I just have the normal ones in blue and green. I just find having lots of different coloured ones, you know, really help colour coding work and making corrections and improvements clear on your work and stuff, which all sounds a bit sad, I know, but kind of obsessed with it. And then I have just the Nivea lip balm in case I get dry lips in my lessons, which I do pretty much constantly. Oh, I also have a random memory stick in there. This is a really old memory stick, it's one gig. And it's huge <laughs> and it's really really heavy it's like a metal casing so i don't know why i have that in there i should probably give it back to my mum i think it's hers so yeah pencil case then also in here i have a pack of wh smith's record cards i just these are revision cards these are the ones i use these are the 152 by 102 millimeter cards so they're the big ones but i find these ones are much more useful because the little ones the lines are really close together and um, you can't get as much on them, and I know that like the whole point of revision cards is to condense, but I like everything to be really clear and spaced out well, so I get the bigger ones. And so I've got a pack of those, I think they were on 3 for 2 or something, so I've got loads. Um, I just have a little coin purse with selfie written on it, this is from Pull and Bear, because I try not to take my purse into school, because otherwise I end up carrying lots of cards and money and things I don't need to be carrying. I then have my physics textbook for A2 physics, which obviously I love, and another 
physics <laughs> book. This, these ones we use for our astrophysics module because they're not actually in the main textbook. More physics books because I had physics today, so just loads of physics. I've also got my maths books. Um, anyone else study OCR? God, I love it. Um, I actually go through maths books so quickly. I've had about eight maths books this year, so like actual written books. I keep my written books inside my textbooks normally so that I've got everything together. Then I have this wallet from Wilkinson's which is just full of past papers. I can't really show you. I can go like that and try and block out my name. Um, it's full of past papers for all of my subjects. I will be taking 10 exams in the summer which isn't very many because um, at A level you do less subjects. Well some people might find that loads. When I did my GCSEs I had 28 exams. So for me, 10 isn't that many. Last year I had nine, so it's one more than last year because I'm retaking four, no, oh, must be less than that, three exams, I'm not really sure. And lastly, this is literally the last thing I have in my bag apart from a bag of sweets. I have another maths book, <laughs> I love maths books, of past papers that I've been doing in there because um, my maths exam board don't like to do papers in a normal way, they do them really weirdly. And then I have a bag of a really manky bag which I'm probably going to throw away of fruit pastels so yes oh and no, there's one more thing I have a sock I have like one of these little invisible sock things just one not two just one so yeah that is everything inside my bag I hope you've enjoyed this if you've got anything weird inside your school bag let me know because I didn't think I found that many weird things this time I feel like I was thought there was going to be loads more so I've been pretty good at only putting things in there that I kind of need I guess um let me know if you've liked this video, any other video requests, I've got this like massive bat wing top on. It's because I'm only like, that's my real size. Boom. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!